Sometimes a character will say an English language word that gets rewritten on the English language server to something completely different. Doodle suit. Snake whisper. Bed to the limit. Sleep kiss. Sometimes these subtitles are unique inventions by the English language team, but other times these subtitles are completely accurate representations of what the characters are actually saying, they just aren't saying what they mean. In order to understand the language rules that are being broken, let's have a quick rundown of what the rules actually are. The Japanese language has four alphabets, Ro Maji, the Roman alphabet. Kanji, adapted from Chinese Kanji, Japanese kanji have largely evolved, but there is still a lot of overlap. Katakana, phonetic symbols for foreign loanwords. Hiragana, based on kanji, these are also phonetic symbols. Here is a screenshot of Ruggi using all four alphabets in a line of dialogue. In video games, novels, manga, subtitles and any place where there is kanji, there will often also be smaller hiragana or katakana written above it to tell the reader how it is pronounced. This is called furigana. This kanji, for example, means cat. The furigana above it is written with the hiragana for ne and ko for neko, which means cat. Furigana's purpose is to tell us how to pronounce a kanji. Now that we know what furigana is and how it's used, here is how Twisted Wonderland uses it for wordplay. The most obvious examples in the game are the character's unique magics. When Trey uses his unique magic on JP, this is what we see. The command itself is inside the quotation marks, where we see a combination of kanji and hiragana. Above it are a small line of furigana that are, in this instance, written in katakana. The kanji slash hiragana phrase is read as bara o nu ro, which should be what the furigana above it is saying, and it would be in a normal situation, but it isn't. If you have your audio on you know that Trey is audibly saying doodle suit. Doodle suit. With suit referring to a suit of cards and doodle being just that, as his magic is overriding or doodling over other people's magic. And if you're playing the English adaptation, you know that Trey's unique magic has been translated as Paint the Roses, which doesn't match his audio clip at all. Doodle suit. And that is because Doodle Suit is the katakana, while Bara o Nuro is the hiragana slash kanji beneath it. And Bara o Nuro means Let's Paint the Roses. The game is telling us that, let's paint the roses, is what Trey is actually saying, but he is pronouncing it as, doodle suit. English doesn't have four different alphabets for authors to play with and say, this is what the character is saying aloud, but it's not what they mean, so the English language team had to decide on which set of text to use, or even come up with entirely new phrases that don't relate to the original text at all, for each person's unique magic on a case-to-case -case basis. Riddle, for example, has a voice clip that mostly matches the English language translation of his unique magic. Just like Trey, Riddle has a combination of kanji and hiragana, with a small line of katakana above it that is supposed to be telling us how it's pronounced, but is instead introducing entirely new sounds altogether. The actual command itself is read as, kubi o hanero, but Riddle is pronouncing it as, off with your head, so in his case the words he is saying and the English translation of his unique magic match, while Trey's do not. In trying to come up with the best possible names for the various spells, the English adaptation has landed on three different solutions that change from character to character. Translating what the character is saying out loud and ignoring the meaning behind it. This is the most popular solution, used with Riddle, Cater, Leona, Ruggie, Jack, Azul, Jade, Floyd, Colin, Ville and Idia. While the name of the spell matches the audible command, English language players have no way to know that Jack's Unleash Beast is just how he pronounces Howl to Break the Moonlit Night. Or that Jade is actually saying the tooth that takes out a bite, etc. Leona is the only character whose audible command is already the literal English language translation of what his spell means. Riddle is close, but as his voice clip says, 
you, and the meaning of the command is an instruction to an unspecified person, it is not technically the same, like changing, their, to, your. Pattern 2, translating what the character actually means and ignoring the audio. Interestingly, Trey is the only one that they did this with, and the translation is not exact. In the English version of the game Trey's, paint the roses, is an order, but his original spell uses a verb form that means, let's, as in, let's paint the roses together. It is not actually a command. Pattern 3, inventing an entirely new spell that ignores both the audio and the meaning. Jamil, Deuce and Rook all have names for their unique magic commands in the English version of the game that are not translations of what they're saying out loud, or translations of what their command actually means. Jamil's original command is, audibly, snake whisper. Snake whisper. The meaning of the command is closer to, the snake's invitation, or, the snake's temptation. Deuce's original command is, audibly, bet the limit. Bet the limit! The meaning of the command is a phrase that means payback or tit for tat, since his power is to pay back damage that has been dealt to him. His audible command, bet the limit, is a gambling term. It means to place the maximum bet allowed. It is a risky move, but it can pay off in spades. This has been rewritten in the English translation as double down, which is a blackjack term. It is when you double your bet in the middle of a hand in return for one extra card, also a risky move, it can potentially increase your payout. Rook's original command is, audibly, I see you. I see you. The meaning of the command is, the bow and arrow that reaches the very end. This has been rewritten to, arrow afar, in the English adaptation, Unique magics are not the only place where Furigana comes into play in Twisted Wonderland, we see it in other places like Floyd saying, legs, and, us, aloud when what he actually means is, tails, and, mere people. And Jamil once says, column, aloud while in the, literal, subtext we see that he means, the heir of the main house, emphasizing column's unspoken importance in the dialogue without him having to actually say as much in the audio. In Book 6, Robot Ortho and Dead Ortho introduce themselves to one another by saying, Pleasure to make your acquaintance, Ortho, out loud, but what they are actually saying isn't Ortho. They're saying, me. We also get a lot of furigana with Rook, as his French language nicknames are often written in furigana above what the French means in Japanese. For example, Roy de Lions is written in katakana above the Japanese, and both mean, King of Lions. Another cute example of pronunciation versus meaning is Leona in Book 6 demanding that a Stuck staff member take them to the Maigo Center, which might not exist in English. It is sort of a concierge that can be found in places like Disneyland, where it is called a baby center, for lost children to be brought to, to wait for their parents to come and find them. That is what Leona says aloud, but the hidden meaning is, control room. Since this joke can't be translated into English, the translated version of the game added, that's where the adults are, right? To Leona's dialogue. Yeah, Twisted no Wonderland idea. is, of course, not the only form of media to ever do this. This kind of wordplay can be found everywhere, and is often used to make puns that are wholly undetectable if you don't know the language. If you've ever come across a translated line in an anime or manga that is so obviously wrong that it seems intentional, there's a chance that it is just the translator doing their very best as they try to stuff the flexibility of four alphabets into one. <laughs>